三十五，明报段落 destroy what Hong Kong holds most precious。二零一五年七月二十二日，教育 A 二十一 editorial。There are some recent developments which, as they are foreign to the established beliefs and customs of Hong Kong, do not appear to the public to be right and proper. An invisible force seems to be manipulating this set of developments so as to carry out the will of the powers that be. Now, Hong Kong, with its unique institutions and practices. Is able to compete with other places and cities in the region if the authorities, refusing to see reason, discard our beliefs and customs for political needs, Hong Kong will lose its competitive edge. The Governing Council of the University of Hong Kong, for instance, has, after much stalling and dickering, agreed by vote to let the provost to see to the Johannes Chan Memon, former dean of the university's faculty of law. Should be appointed as a pro vice chancellor. As far as the established practices of the university are concerned, it is very strange that a pro vice chancellor's appointment should be approved by the provost rather than by the vice chancellor, especially as the other four pro vice chancellors have all been appointed one after another without the provost's approval. Why is it that Chan, who has already been recommended for appointment, Must be treated differently from the others. No convincing explanation has been offered so far. Many HKU alumni and members of society see in Chan's case the presence of political pressure, believing that the authorities are trying their best to prevent Chan from moving further up the university hierarchy because of his political stand, which is at odds with that of the authorities. There is widespread concern about whether or not university's autonomy will be challenged and eroded away. And then there is the case involving police superintendent Franklin Chukingwei, who is alleged to have assaulted citizens with a baton. The Independent Police Complaints Council (IPCC), after watching the related video clips and thoroughly discussing the case. Gave an allegation of assault substantiated ruling by a subjective vote. Star six. This means that the IPCC disagrees with the abuse of power substantiated ruling made earlier by the complaints against police office. Capo. Capo then put forward a proposal asking IPCC to rule instead that the allegation of assault is not fully substantiated. And that choose abuse of power is substantiated other than reported, as the proposal represents a new point of view rather than new evidence. There is hardly any reason why the IPCC should reverse its decision. However, there are IPCC members who are calling for a second vote on the matter, and some things are hanging in the balance. There is widespread concern about whether or not the IPC can maintain its independence and uphold its allegation of assault substantiated ruling, which was driven by stern facts. Hong Kong's political ecology is such that a lot of things are unavoidably tinged with political interests and considerations. However, if to achieve their purposes. The authorities deviate from established norms and resort to other practices. Society as a whole is likely to suffer, since that image done may outweigh the benefits realized. In the case of the HKU Pro Vice Chancellor appointment, if the will of the authorities prevails, the university, established more than 100 years ago, will be shaken to its foundations. And university education in Hong Kong will suffer a significant regression. And if the IPCC submits to the leadership of Capo, that the public will lose the confidence in a social mechanism designed to ensure equality, fairness, and justice. It is not advisable to sacrifice the city's established institutions and practices for the political needs of the moment. Ying Yu Se Ping Sing Dong English. Rotming plow, dot com, testing critic, htm, quay trang dây đầu sĩ trong yêu di sản mặt ngoài trang trí soi yêu lệ yểm đăng ký nhất xe sĩ thái phát triển, thuyết lệ liệu gõng nhận nhất bốn nhìn trí hòa kinh nghiệm phàn vầy, đầu chi kỳ công bình hợp lệ sinh bị sâu chất gì, dấu quan sĩ thái bùi hậu, nhận nhược sâu nhất của hòn bất kiến tích lực lượng thôi tùng, 
，似乎要特自体现权力当局意志的结果。其实，香港有一套独特规章制度，是香港与周边地区和城市互相竞争，若权力当局不醒教。为了政治需要而周设张必气轮上，香港的优势将烟消云散。比如广大校务委员会几经周折，就是否任命原法律学院院长陈文敏为副校长，得出交由首席副校长决定的表决结果，就广大而言，副校长任命由首席副校长决定，连校长也不能与民，极其诡异。另外，其他四名副校长都已相继任命。他们都无需等待首席副校长决定。陈文敏已获推荐的任命，为什么需要特别处理？押金未见让人信服的解释。港大校友与不少社会人士以政治打压解读此事，认为陈文敏的政治立场与当局看隔，权力当局因而千方百计阻挠他在港大再上层楼。港大的自主性会否被冲击和注视，备受关注。至于警司朱经纬被投诉以警棍扭打市民，监警会按现场摄录。各委员经过充分讨论之后，以十二比六通过扭打投诉证明属实。即使不认同投诉警察课的滥用职权证明属实调查结果，其后投诉警察课提出新建议，要求监警会裁定警司扭打无法完全证明属实及滥用职权未经举报但证明属实。不过那只属新观点。没有新证据，理应难以改变监警会的表决结果。只是有委员提出重新表决，为事态引伏变数。监警会能否保持独立，维持根据事实而作出的扣打投诉证明属实结论，备受关注。现时本港的政治生态，许多事态若说可以不参杂政治因素和考虑，并不切实际。只是若权力当局为求达至目的。偏离机制甚而令迫其境，对整体社会并非好事。因为造成的破坏或许得不偿失。港大副校长任命，若权力当局得逞，则港大的百年基业就会动摇，对香港的大学教育是严重倒退。监警会若屈服于投诉警察课的领导，则维系公平、公正、公义的社会机制，将使港人失去信心。为了一时一地的政治需要而礼崩落坏，并不值得。Last arrived powers that b e t unknown people who have important positions or for authority and power, and whose decisions have hurt your life serious and reasonable and have good judgment submit to somebody something, accept an authority, control or greater strength of somebody something.